Hi everybody, Graham Bradshaw here from founding director of IMI here in Hong Kong. A newspaper item caught my attention last Friday the 9th of June, the headline being uh, exposure to pollution worst in the home. And the article went on to point out that based on studies over a full year uh, where the participants were taking devices with them to measure the amount of pollution in the different places that they were that 52% of the pollution occurs inside people's homes. Surprisingly, only 18% outdoors and uh, some 13% inside of offices. So what that means is you have a lot of control over the amount of air pollution that you're exposed to. What was interesting too about the study was that we spend roughly 42% of our time in our own home, but 52% of the pollution occur during that time. What that means is that the internal environment is more polluted than the external and that's because of other sources that are known from uh, domestic use such as from the kitchen and also there's pollution coming from any synthetic materials that outgas uh, their pollution into your internal environments as well. Now there are several solutions to uh, managing that. One is to have extra ventilation uh, especially the exhaust fan in the kitchen is quite important to take smoke particles and so on out. But also some ventilation through the house is really worthwhile. But there's some conflict about ventilation in Hong Kong which is that um, you know, mold very easily grows especially through our summer months. Mind you the pollution is worst in Hong Kong through the winter months. But through the summer months if we keep the house very open uh, it becomes quite mouldy very easily, which is another form of internal pollution. So uh, what, what's being measured with pollution often is this particle size called PM2.5. It's a particle size that's very small, small enough to not just get trapped in our lungs, but to travel into the heart and the blood vessels and even into the brain. It penetrates many of our body organs and uh, does age them more quickly. Last uh, video I did was talking about how you can protect yourself from these pollutant particles. But uh, the other means, of course, is to suck them out of the air that you breathe, and that's what high quality air filters will do. So, much of the air filtering is uh, usually done by a so called HEPA filter. Uh, that's just a type that can get rid of these tiny uh, particles. And uh, so, there's a couple of very excellent brands here in Hong Kong. Most often, you'll find people have gone to the trouble of a uh, buying a, an IQ air filter, which is a very high-end one. Uh, last I heard it was over $15,000. Because that's fairly expensive for us to recommend, we're usually uh, offering people something called the Allen air filter, which is half of that price and does the same job, uh, mainly because it's produced in China rather than Switzerland. Uh, one of the other nice factors about it is it's a smaller unit. It's not such a big, uh, huge thing as you've probably seen with the uh, IQ. The second thing I'd like to say about either of those two filters is that you can upgrade the filter in the machine. So mostly they all have the same particle filter and that's not so upgradable. But the second feature of an air filter is the carbon filter. So the carbon um, element in the filters pick up the chemical pollution. So things like nitrous oxide or inside the house formaldehydes and other things that outgas off uh, some of the domestic materials. So you can upgrade that filter, and I recommend you do, so that you get um, you know, more uh, effect from the filter that you're using at home. The other really important thing about your filters is they do clog up after about six months, and it's very much worthwhile to date the time you put the filter in, so there's no doubt about when you should be replacing it. It's very easy to think your filter's going to last a year. Frankly, it doesn't. Uh, so, look, just tips there on removing the pollutants from inside the house, remembering that that's the most polluted environment that you are living in. Not only is it because you spend so much time there, but in fact domestic uh, pollution comes into the air you breathe there, making it the worst, oddly enough. So, take control and uh, reduce your pollution exposure. Thank you.